Hello, this is Dory Horesca with Forever Quilting. In this video, I will show you how I finished the quilting on the Tula Palooza quilt. This quilt was designed and made by the modern quilters of the Ozark Peacemaker Quilt Guild in Springfield, Missouri. It will be raffled off in September of 2019 to help raise money for their many charitable projects. We have all heard the expression, just let the quilt talk to you, then you will know how to quilt it. Well, sometimes that really happens. This quilt really spoke to me. I saw traditional blocks pieced with modern fabrics. These blocks seem to be divided by a large gulf of negative space, kind of reminding me of the divisions that has risen up in the quilting world, like hand versus machine, or machine versus computerized quilting, or the rules of quilting versus being free to create your own thing, or even traditional versus modern. To me, I love it all. No matter your style or method of quilting, I feel there is a place for all to come together to share and enjoy our mutual love of this creative outlet. So what does that mean? Well, I quilted the blocks in a traditional way using a combination of more modern designs. Tied the blocks together with an old traditional design, the ribbon candy that has been somewhat reinvented as a modern design. Filled the gulf with elongated swirls and then added another traditional design, the long loops, as a symbol of tying or drawing up the two sides and bringing them together. Finishing up the edges with a mixture of traditional and modern, cross hatching, filled with modified continuous curves and tight echoed straight lines. When we look at the finished quilt, the overall quilting really does look complicated. But by breaking down each section into manageable pieces, it's not so bad. When working on the sashing, I quilted the vertical strips first. Then I could roll the quilt forward and quilt the horizontal rows all at one time. Quilting this intense design helped to smash down any extra fullness that was trapped in the sashing. Because the large negative space runs diagonally through the middle of the quilt, I knew I needed to quilt that area all at once for my design to flow. But before I could do that, I finished quilting all the blocks so that the quilt top was fully stabilized and I could roll it back and forth. Then starting at the bottom of the quilt, I first quilted the long swirls, going up diagonally through the center of the open space. Then starting at the bottom again, I would fill in the triangle areas on each side with more swirls, leaving just enough space for the loops to fit in between the swirls. This space is where all the extra fullness got trapped, so it was a challenge to prevent pleats from happening while I quilted the loops. When I got to the top roller, I would stop with my needle in the down position where the design crossed over itself. Then I carefully rolled the quilt so I could quilt the next section continuously.
And finally, it is time to finish quilting the border. Before I even loaded the top on the long arm, I marked the grid using a blue water erase pen and my two inch square grid stencil. I could have easily quilted the border with only one start and one stop, but by marking the grid first, I was able to quilt the cross hatching lines while I worked at quilting the rows of blocks. This stabilized the border enough that I could keep advancing the quilt without drawing up the border with too much quilting too soon. I filled the cross hatching grid with curves alternating between single curves and triple curves. To make binding easier, I left space between the cross hatching grid and the edge of the quilt and filled in this space with parallel lines spaced very closely together. This quilt was a complete joy to quilt, and I appreciate the opportunity to give back to my community through the joint efforts of my friends at the Ozark Peacemaker Quilt Guild. Don't forget to purchase your tickets to win this quilt by contacting me at foreverquilting at ymail.com. But you must do this before September 15, 2019. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube so you don't miss the next video coming out soon.